Well, hello there, friends. Fantastic recipe today. I'm making buttered chicken. Amazing recipe. Remember, thumbs up if you like the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make it together right now. Well, hello there, friends. Today I'm cooking one of my favorite Indian dish. Guess what? It has butter in it. Butter chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to do this. It's, if I go to an Indian restaurant and I'm out of town, or even if I'm in town, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have the butter chicken. <laughs> Extra butter. So, friends, the number one uh, 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 ingredient, the number one spice, the number one flavoring ingredient in making a butter chicken is a... Um, uh, garam masala, masala, and uh, uh, so you can you can buy it already in bags. In you can buy it everywhere in grocery store. They have it, or you can make it. And uh, and this is what it looks like. It see, I just I make it myself because I like it. It's nice, fresher. You know, when you buy it, I mean, you can buy some. I'm, I know you can buy some really good one out there. You just gotta find it, you know. They more more for the four. When you just make it, oh, it's amazing how fragrant it is. So, what does it consist of? Consist of. You need consist of. You need a um, a spice grinder for. Oh, a coffee grinder. We call it, I call it a spice grinder, but it's a coffee grinder. Uh, you put some bay leaves in there, a couple of pieces of cinnamon in there, uh, cardamom. Uh, people use black cardamom. I think it's dark enough for this, so I use green cardamom. Uh, peppercorn, uh, cumin seeds, uh, coriander seeds, nutmeg. Now, this one is tough to grind, I tell you. But if you do it long enough, you do it. And some cloves. And all you do, my friends, very simple. You watch, the, the one that's going to take the longest is the nutmeg. It takes forever to break up the nutmeg. So you can grate it, you know, you can take a microplate, grate it, and grate it, you can do it. And uh, But I'm not going to bore you with the noise because I already did it. But if you look, you see, if you look, it's starting right there, but it needs probably another minute or two of two, so then a nutmeg has an opportunity to crack. You know, if you don't have one of those, you can't do it. Just buy it already made, okay? Because that's really, really what you need. Okay, I'm not going to waste too much time with this, but you get the idea, and you, if you do it long enough, my friends, you get this. That's what you get, right? So now, chicken. We're going to marinate the chicken in yogurt. And uh, you got to buy a good yogurt. This brand right there, friends, I don't know if you can see the label over there. You get this in good Indian market. We have a little market, the Indian market in Fort Lauderdale on Commercial Boulevard, and it's amazing. And I get it from there. That yogurt is like amazing, I'll tell you. You put a little yogurt in there, measure carefully. Don't measure, it. just a little bit. Right? What do you think, about three quarters of a cup? Little lemon juice, we're gonna leave a little acidity in there, that's good. And then um, we put a little turmeric. It's gonna give us a beautiful color. And then we put our uh, masala in there, right? And we're gonna mix all this. And masala's got all the spices I need, so I don't need to add any more spices. I like to mix it up really good like this, friends. You see? Mix it up really, 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 really good. It's got all my spices, all my seasoning in here. The only thing it doesn't have is salt. And we're going to put a little salt in there. Okay? And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to put this in our chicken. I'm using chicken breast. A lot of people use... Um, uh, thighs and leg, nothing wrong with it. Mo most Italian restaurants, as a matter of fact, do. But I think it's um, it's nicer if you use chicken breast or chicken tenderloin. But it's really up to you, my friends. Whatever it is you want to do, it's not complicated, I tell you. You know, I've demystified this dish because sometimes you make it, they make it too complicated. And what we're going to do, we're going to marinate this guy. We're going to marinate, makes it really, really good, friends. We're going to marinate it minimum 30 minutes, friends. I highly recommend, if you have the time, you do it two or three hours. I'm using um, chicken tenderloin, so it's even um, that much more tender, I think, than the breast. But I'm going to be happy with 30 minutes of marination. Marination? That's not a word, I don't think. Marinating. <laughs> marination. See, I'm telling you, I'm creating my own vocabulary here, friends. We're going to mix this up really good. It's got all the spice we need. We're going to put this in the fridge, and then we're going to make the sauce. All right, now, friends, we're going to make the sauce. Very simple. All right? 
First, we're going to saute some onion. Number one ingredient, friends, is butter. <laughs> we're going to saute some onion in butter. Yep, yep, yep. You can use olive oil also, a little bit of olive oil at the beginning if you want. Not that it's going to help the butter from burning, it's not. But it's okay, we're just going to caramelize the onion a little bit, so butter it is. And then we have a, a, we have a, a bunch of ingredients. We have a little cream in there, okay? We're going to put a little cream. I got a chili pepper. Uh, I got more turmeric for, for color, and then I got a beautiful garlic. And then I got some um, um, uh, Kashmiri. Uh, a hot chili pepper, red chili pepper. You can, uh, 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 chili, yeah, hot pepper. It's delicious. And, uh, and fenugreek, then we're gonna put at the end. And, uh, and I'll have a list of all the ingredients with the exact measurement, friends, so don't worry, right? We'll have it all that. I got some uh, tomatoes, and the tomatoes in Florida right now are pathetic, they're terrible. So instead of using crappy tomatoes, which I hate to use, I use a good Italian canned tomatoes. Imagine that. A French chef making an Indian dish with an Italian tomatoes. Mamma mia. Where do we got this? <laughs> We're going to saute some onion. Really simple, thing. I tell you, I'm making, I make simple food. That's the whole idea of the channel here, you know? We don't want to make it too complicated. Because if it's too complicated, you're not going to do it. Well, what's the sense of doing a complicated dish? This dish is a little bit of mise en place, as you could see, but we can do it. Then we got some uh, cilantro. You don't like cilantro, they put parsley in there. It'll be perfectly fine. Ginger and a little cream. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, my roasted garlic salt, which is what I could have done on the other thing, but I didn't do it. We're going to wait for this to be nice and golden brown, friends. A little bit. I mean, I don't need to really, really, really caramelize them a lot. And we'll go, well, we're going to do the, the process is simple. Come back over here. You. I put butter everywhere. Uh, we're going to... Make the tomato sauce, we're gonna cut the tomato sauce, not a tomato sauce, it's a sauce. And, uh, and we're gonna cook it, and, um, and then we're gonna uh, 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 puree it, make it nice and smooth, we're gonna go through a, a strainer, I'll show you the process. And then we're gonna strain it, and then we're gonna cook the chicken in a fry pan with the sauce on it. I promise you, you guys are gonna love this dish, and it's not complicated to do. So we're gonna wait a few minutes for the onion to caramelize, and then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get. Hey, by the way, not that I'm gonna start telling you stories, um, because, uh, I mean, I love to tell you my stories. I tell you, I got a lot to tell you. Been in a restaurant for the next 50 years, imagine that, how many stories I got. But I did a chicken marsala, marsala, an Italian version of my chicken, French version of my Italian chicken marsala. And so many Indian, Indian lovely uh, uh, subscribers that we have, they would say, friends, we love your channel, but this is not a chicken masala. And I know you forgot there's an R, it's masala, not masala. So <laughs> for all of my Indian friends, they made, they were always so nice though, they're so friendly, right? They don't uh, like some, some other people that may come and they're not so friendly. But in Indian, they're just so friendly, they're just gentle, very nice people. They were like, we love you, but this is not chicken masala. I said, I know, it's supposed to be a chicken masala. There's an R you forgot. Maybe in a thumbnail I should put a big R, masala. All right, friends, we're going to wait for the onion to cook a few more minutes, and then I'll come back, we'll finish the sauce, okay? Okay, friends, you see, the, uh, the onions are starting, they're translucent, lightly golden brown. I'm not looking for a very dark golden brown. So I'm going to put the, uh, the chili peppers in there. They're not very hot. Not hot at all. Just um, a little bit of heat, that's all. Because we got the, the red uh, uh, chili pepper here. And that's going to be much hotter. And then we're going to put um, a little bit of garlic. That means we're going to... We still don't want to burn the garlic. I don't care what cuisine I'm cooking. Indian, Thai. I still don't want to burn my garlic. So we're going to put the chili powder a little bit. Now this, you put as much or as little as you want. It's really up to you. You check it. The turmeric. And then, it's starting to smell amazing. And then we're gonna put the tomatoes in there, friends. I put our tomatoes. Yep. And then, friends, I just realized I forgot in my mise en place, here, big problem, uh, I'm, I'm gonna put a little chicken stock in there. And I forgot to get it, so don't go anywhere, I'm gonna go get it. 
OK. Good lesson. Mise en place. Make sure you get your mise en place before you start, my friends. All right, look, I'm going to put a little bit of chicken stock in there. I like a little moisture. OK, and you know I don't like to put water in there, right? So I got a little bit of chicken stock, and I'm going to put a little bit of cream also, OK? And then we're going to add butter at the end. Just a little bit of cream, and we're just going to cook. The only thing I need to do now, and then we're going to puree all this, make it a beautiful, smooth sauce, my friends. And we're going to put a little bit of fresh ginger, all right? And all I got to do is just grate the ginger, you see? Grate it like this. And that's all there is to it. We're going to let this cook. Microplane grater is a great tool for this, to do the uh, ginger. Right? And then at the end, we're going to put a little cilantro. We're going to adjust seasoning if we need to do. And that'll be it. And we'll put a fenugreek. We'll put that at the end, a fenugreek. We'll put that at the end. And that's all there is to it, my friend. We're going to let this cook. We're going to let the chicken marinate. And when the sauce is cooked, the chicken is marinated, we come back and we'll finish the dish together. Of course, I forgot something else. I forgot <laughs> to have... <laughs> To add the masala, I'm telling you. If I don't forget anything, it's, never gonna, it's not going to be our channel if I think of everything, right? got to remember, it, mise en place. I didn't do my mise en place very good today. Couple of teaspoons of it. Don't put too much. That's very powerful. It could ruin the whole thing. That's it, my friend. We're going to continue cooking everything. Chicken marinating. The sauce is cooking. We'll be back when it's all done. We're not, not all done. We're going to finish it together. Okay, friends, well, the chicken marinated at least 30 minutes. The sauce cooks 30 minutes. You should really leave it two or three hours if you have the time. I got 30 minutes because I got that going, right? So now I'm going to make the sauce very smooth, friends. I got an immersion blender. If you don't have one of those, just use a, um, a blender. Put it in a blender. It's a little messy. The immersion blender is easier. We want to really, 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 really puree this as smooth as possible. It's all about texture, friends. It really is. Now, you see, the fact that the chicken has been marinated in yogurt, yogurt doesn't like to cook so much. So, you know, you'll see what happened when I put it on there. It's going to get beautiful golden brown, though. But you see the sauce? Smooth, smooth, smooth. Except, see, I'm going to turn the heat off. I don't need to heat it off anymore. Tomato sauce will never get smooth as silk. I mean tomato sauce. Tomatoes, when you grind them, they're never going to get smooth as silk. You know, I like it very, very smooth, but that's something you find in Italian or French cuisine. You don't necessarily find in all cuisine. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just that thing, that thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, now here we go. <laughs> We're going to make sure it's beautiful and smooth, friends. All right, if I had the time, I would leave this a little bit longer. I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> All right, where am I going to put this guy? Right here. I think, I think it'd be right there. It'd be good. Stay right there. Now we're going to take the sauce, friends, and we're going to put it right in a very fine double mesh strainer. Let me just, you know, I don't like to waste not, nothing. Uh, let me just put it in here. Take a spatula. Double, double mesh strainer, my friends. Double mesh. You know what a double mesh strainer is, right? It's, it's thinner than a single mesh. That's all. Double mesh, single mesh. If you have a chinois, then it's quadruple mesh. So look, look, look. See what's happening down there? It's coming out. It smells amazing. You're going to make this, you're going to go, wow. It really, really smells wonderful. You see, that makes it really easy here, friends, when you have a ladle. You see, because look, you're going to see right away what I'm doing. See right there? Look how simple that is. It's a great technique. You see, look. Oh, the smell that I'm getting with the masala in there. Gaha masala is really, really flavorful, friends. All right, so look. Take this. Compost. Delicious. And here we have a beautiful sauce. All right, so now what do we do with the chicken? Let's get the chicken going. I got two pans because I don't think it's going to go in one. I got two of them because I got a lot of chicken in here. I got probably a little more. I said I started with a recipe at two pounds, but I'm looking at a three pound right here. So I'm now going to saute the chicken. I want my butter. This is butter. Butter chicken. <laughs> you got to put butter, right? And then we're going to put more butter at the end. And also... 
Uh, we're going to put some cashews in there, folks. We're going to put cashews. Let me move this pot out of the way because we don't need it. Um, and here we go. You know, I could move the other pan right here. Or if you guys are good, comfortable right here. Boom, boom. You're good? Everybody? Oh, everybody's good. So <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to saute the chicken. All right, I want to make sure I got some nice heat in there. And uh, same, same thing over there. I'm looking at uh, when the bottle is just about to start to get golden brown. I'm about to 268. Now, here's what happened with the chicken, friends. We want it. All we're doing in here is to give it a beautiful color. That's all I'm doing. So I don't, I can't have it on them on top of each other. Okay? I want it. That's why I'm taking two pans. I'm probably going to need two pans. Because I don't want them to be on top of each other, see? You, because you, you'll see. You'll see in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. I want a beautiful color. And the color you're going to get when, uh, on, you'll see. You'll see. Sometimes I try to explain something, but it's easier if you see it. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. You can see it. That's a beautiful thing. I love my life. It's, and I tell you, for a chef to do what, what I do here, chefs are there, all professional guys. Start your own YouTube channel. It's fabulous. The people you're cooking for are fabulous. They love you. They have great comments. It's fabulous. You'll have a great time. Don't hesitate to do it. I'm telling you. I tell all my chef friends, start a YouTube channel. Teach people what you know. All right, so look, guys. Be careful with the butter, because the butter is going to burn. See, like this guy right there is a little hotter than the other one. So look, look, look. I know I, I told Jack, don't worry about this pan, to worry about this one. So we're going to worry about this one. I still don't want to burn it, though. I want to see what's going on. See right there? See right there, friends? You see right there? That's a color right there. That's what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for, friends. Now, when, after you gave it a little color, if you want to put them on top of each other, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but we still got to give it. See right here, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some color here. Give me some color. You see? Right there. Mama mia. Right there, right there, right there. That's what I'm looking for. Right there. All right. This is, a, this is, this is prettier than this guy. Right there. The so one five pen is pretty. The other one is like, eh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Ooh, right there, right there. That's what I was looking for right there. Right there, that's what I'm looking for. How come you only give me down on one side? Let's see what we got here. You see what happens if you put too much? You know, I always tell you, don't put too much in the, in the pan to crowd the pan. Otherwise, you can't get that caramelization that we're always looking for. So I put too much in the pan. You see, I make mistakes so you don't make them. <laughs> I, teach them I teach you guys what not to do. Now, how many channels do that? Do not do this and, and show you. Instead of that, they redo the thing. They should just show you all the mistakes we make. And all the mistake I make right here was the number one mistake I make. I put too much in the pan. And we don't want too much in the pan. We want some beautiful color. Now, here's what we're going to do, friends. We're going to finish all the rest of the ingredients. And we're going to cook it all in this one pan with the sauce on top. I know. It's fascinating, and, it, and it's so simple of a dish when you think about it. This is what I was looking for right there, friends. See, I was looking for all of them to be like that, but I put too much in the pan. So you know what? We put those right there in the middle so they look good. What do you think? Put it over there. Now there's nothing I can do about it. So we're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, if you put a bunch of steel little one golden there and there, and they all look like they're golden. It's cooking. It's not rocket science, folks. As long as we're not sending a man on the moon, and trust me, I'm never going to go to the moon. <laughs> Some people go, oh, I'll take the first plane out. Not me. Mm -mm. I can't even get on the ladder. Never mind going to the moon, okay? I'm not going to the moon, okay? We're done with this. We're done with this. All right, so now, friends, let's put the sauce. And that sauce right there, my friends, is amazing. You see, I probably have a little too much sauce, but it's okay. I rather have too much than not enough, right? And this, my friend, the chicken is going to continue cooking. Do it slowly now. You don't need to be high now. Don't need to be high. Cashews. 
You don't want cashews? Don't put them in there. Some people be peanuts. I think cashews is fantastic. But matter of opinion, put it if you want. If you don't want it, don't put them in. Right? Fenacric, dry fenacric. Can put more. I don't really care for it that much. I don't, I don't put that much of it. Fresh cilantro. Put parsley in it if you want. We're going to cook this gently, friends. This is going to cook for, I don't know, not very long. Because you see, the chicken is not very big. I would say uh, seven minutes at a low heat until the chicken is cooked. And we're going to serve it with the beautiful jasmine rice. And at the last minute, I'm going to put the butter. Don't let me forget the butter, no? Butter chicken with no butter. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah I could see you guys in the comment. What's the butter with you, chef? Yes, and you would be right. But now you know what I can do at this point, friends. I can check it first to make sure I'm good for seasoning. Oh, wow. Wow. That's amazing. All right, friends. What else do we need now? Butter. Remember now, you want to put the butter at the end. So if you're reheating this dish, don't put all the butter you unless you want to... Um, you want to eat it all. But if you don't think you're going to eat it all, then don't put all the butter. Just take a little bit out. Because the butter, when it reheats, it would have tendency of separating it. And we don't want that. So you want to make sure then you put the butter at the end so it slightly melts without separating it. And let me tell you, there's a thing, a magic about butter. As we know, butter tastes amazing, right? But what does it bring in? The fat content, the, the velvety flavor that the butter gives you. Remember, texture is the conductor of flavors. If I give you something smooth, silky, velvety, it's going to taste a lot better than if I give you some, something that has... Uh, 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 lumped into it and uh, and it's not doesn't have a smooth texture it's completely different it's all about texture it's all about texture the butter has melted now i'm going to take a plate and i'm going to put some beautiful jasmine rice and i cook my jasmine rice in stock i don't cook it in water water tastes like nothing right and then i'm going to put my serving right here look how beautiful that is my friends Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. That'll be enough for me right now. I love a lot of sauce. So I usually make extra sauce. Okay? But it's up to you. You can put a little cilantro on top at the last minute. Put parsley if you don't like cilantro. It's okay. Whatever you're going to put in here, my friend, is going to be delicious. And the chicken. Mmm. 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 Oh. So a little hot. Wait until it's not so hot. Otherwise, you can't taste anything. Mmm. You want to adjust salt and pepper before you serve, before you put the butter. I could have put a little more salt in there. That would have been good. Um, but it's delicious. It's not too spicy, so I can test my chicken. I can test my rice. I can test all the ingredients slightly in the back, not to forward with so much spices. Sometimes you go to a restaurant and they have so much spice you can't taste anything. Friends, I hope you enjoy making this. Try it, it's fantastic. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next couple of days with another fantastic video.